Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to see story sums based on addition, which is one of the mathematical operations on numbers. In class 1, this is the first time we are going to deal with story sums. So, let us go into the details of this video now to understand what are story sums and how we are going to solve them. So, story sums can also be called as word problems or statement problems. Here the sums will be in the form of a story or a statement or a group of words along with numbers. And word problems are a way to connect the real life and max. So far, we would have seen only numbers to solve. In story sums or statement problems or word problems, we will be seeing a small story or a set of statements which you will have to solve. Let us see how we are going to solve them. First, read the story sum. Next, identify the keywords. This is very important. Next, write the statements and then solve the story sums. Let us see how we are going to do all this step by step using suitable examples. This is the first sum we are going to do. So first, read the story sum. In a box, there are 25 red balls and 34 green balls. How many balls are there in all in the box? The next step is to identify the keywords after reading the story sum. So, what is the keyword in this sum? In all is the keyword. The keyword identification is very important because it helps you decide what is the operation we are going to perform on the numbers. As we are dealing with addition, in this video we will be seeing what are all the keywords that help you identify that the sum is a addition problem. So the first keyword that we are seeing is in all. When you see the keyword in all, you can relate that this sum is going to do an addition operation. So here, first let us write down the statements. So you have read the story sum, you have identified the keyword to be in all. The next step is to write the statements. So what are the statements? Red balls is equal to 25. Green balls is equal to 34. Now from the keyword in all, we know that we are going to perform addition. So we are going to add these two numbers. To perform addition, it is always a good habit to write down the place values. So the place values are 1s and 10s. Now begin the addition from the 1s place. 5 plus 4 is 9 and then move on to the 10s place. 2 plus 3 is 5. So now we have found out the total number of balls or how many balls are there in all in the box. What is the answer? Therefore, there are 59 balls in all in the box. So dear viewers, you have understood how we are going to solve a story sum. First, you read the story sum, you identified the keywords, you wrote down the statements, performed the mathematical operation of addition on the given numbers and then wrote down the answer. So these are the steps to be followed for solving a story sum. Let us move on to the next example now. There are 57 apples and 33 oranges with Maya. What is the total number of fruits with Maya? So after reading the word problem, next identify the keywords. The keyword here is total. 
So this is the second keyword that we are seeing with respect to addition. When you see the word total, you can relate that this problem is related to addition. The third step is to write down the statements. So here the statements are apples is equal to 57, oranges is equal to 33. So from the keyword we know that we are going to perform the addition operation. So add these two numbers, write down the place values, begin the addition from the ones place. 7 plus 3 is 10. So write down the 0 in the ones place and take the 1 as a carryover to the numbers in the tens place. Next add the digits in the tens place. 1 plus 5 is 6 and 6 plus 3 is 9. So therefore the answer is the total number of fruits with Maya is 90. Let us do the next example. In a class there are 38 boys and 20 girls. How many children are there in the class altogether? The keyword in this sum is altogether. This is the third keyword we are seeing in this video. So when you see the keyword altogether in a story sum, you can relate that you are going to perform the mathematical operation on numbers addition. So now write down the statement. Boys is equal to 38. Girls is equal to 20. The keyword altogether indicates you are going to perform the operation addition. So now add these two numbers to find out the total number of children in the class. So write down the place values and begin the addition from the ones place. 8 plus 0 will give you the same number 8. From the properties of addition we have learned that when any number is added to 0 or 0 is added to any number you get the same number. I have dealt with the property of 0 in a separate video and also dealt with the properties of addition in a separate video. The links to these two videos are given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. Now move on to the tens place. In tens place you have 3 plus 2. 3 plus 2 will give you 5. So the total number of children in the class is 58. So how will you write the answer? Therefore there are 58 children in the class altogether. Dear viewers, hope you are able to understand and finding it interesting to solve the story sums. Let us move on to the next example. In a box, there are 63 yellow marbles and 28 blue marbles. What is the sum of the number of yellow marbles and blue marbles? The keyword here is sum. We know that sum indicates addition. So next, write down the statements. Yellow marbles is equal to 63. Blue marbles is equal to 28. Now, we have to perform the operation addition. So write down the place values and begin the addition from the ones place. 3 plus 8 is 11. So write down the 1 in the ones place and take the 1 as a carryover to the digits in the tens place. Now add the digits in the tens place. 1 plus 6 is 7 and 7 plus 2 is 9. So the sum of the number of yellow marbles and blue marbles is 91. So how will you write the answer? Therefore 91 is the sum of the number of yellow marbles and blue marbles. Let us do the next example. In a garden there are 56 coconut trees and 31 mango trees. How many trees are there in all in the garden? The keyword here is in all. Write down the statements. Coconut trees is equal to 56. Mango trees is equal to 31. Perform addition for these two to arrive at the answer. Write down the place values and begin the addition from the ones place. 6 plus 1 is 7 and 5 plus 3 is 8. So the answer is, therefore, there are 87 trees in all in the garden. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 1 
with respect to the concept addition for the children, of which I have covered these topics single digit addition with objects, properties of addition, single digit addition with numbers, both horizontal and vertical type of addition, addition using number line, addition of two digit numbers with and without regrouping or the carryover concept, addition of three single digit numbers. All these topics are covered in separate videos and in this video we have covered the topic story sums. Links to all these videos are given below in the description box. You may also click on the in-screen video which will take you to the playlist containing all the videos based on the topic addition for class 1. Dear viewers, if you like the quality of my video, please do hit the subscribe button as it definitely motivates me to give you more quality work and also add value to my channel. Do not forget to tap on the bell button and choose the all option to get regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. If you like my video, give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and do provide your comments in the comment section. Thank you for watching my video. See you again.